Our project today is based on the seven elements of art. Our focus is the element of value. Value is referred to as the tone of a color, or you might have heard of the shade of a color. In art, the lighter values are called tints and the darker values are called shades. This is the final look of our project. Today we will be using our medium with the lightest pressure so that we can create the lightest value or a tint of a color. Here are the materials we need for this project. To begin, I place my paper in a portrait orientation. So my paper goes up and down. Now I'm going to create my penguins by creating these small hills, round hills for each individual penguin. The penguins are different sizes, so I will make different size hill shapes. Small, medium, and larges. Make sure you have your eraser around just in case you mess up on some of the lines. Notice how all of my penguins aren't uniformly lined up. Sometimes they overlap and they are positioned differently behind one another. So try not to draw your penguins right next to each other like how kernels are on corn on the cob. After you have penciled in all of your penguins from bottom to top, we need to outline all of these lines with a black marker. And as I'm outlining my penguins here, I decided to do something else with my penguins. So I'm going to stop outlining right here and show you what I want you to do if you want to do this. What I'm doing here is taking my pencil to create arms that go on top of the heads and I'm only doing it to some of them. I thought it would be nice to have the penguins pose a little bit differently with each one. After drawing in those arms over the heads I'm going to go in with an eraser to erase the lines I don't need on the arms. Now I can continue outlining all my pencil lines. What we have now are just the outline of our penguins. Here I'm going in with an eraser to erase all of those pencil marks. Now we are going to go in with a pencil to create the beaks for all the penguins. You're creating an oval shaped beak. So here you'll see me drawing in the oval shaped beaks on each penguin. Make sure your beak isn't in the middle of the body, it's more towards the top. Now I'm going in with my pencil to draw arms for some of the penguins. You don't have to do penguin arms for all of them. I position the arms differently. Some of them are having their arms go up, some on the side, and some are just going down. And if you like, you could do what I did here. Some of my penguins are holding something. I have a fish, I have a lollipop, and a heart. Now I can go back with my marker and outline some of the things that I just added. The reason I go back and forth with the pencil is because I want to make sure I have good lines and I can erase it if I'm not happy with it before I outline it with marker. In the middle of the oval, we are creating another line to finish off with the beak. For our last line drawings, we are going to add eyes for the penguins. Make simple eyes. Make eyes that are happy, eyes that are winking, anything that you like. Make it simple right above every beak. 
After outlining everything and making all my eyes, I can go in and erase all the pencil marks. And then we should be ready for coloring. For my colors, I'm going to choose just three colors for my penguins. You can do any colors you want. And here is the yellow for my beak. I'm going in first to color in all of my beaks. With this yellow, I'm coloring it at a very high pressure. So that means color it dark because it's yellow and it's super light. I'm going to start coloring my penguin this green. And I'm using very light pressure, the lightest that you can go. I'm creating a very light line that goes from the beak down to its body. And that will give me a line of where to color my green. These two lines will create the belly of the penguin. I'm going to color in the whole penguin with this green color, the lightest tint of this green. I'm using very, very low pressure to create this tint of green. Now I will do this for the rest of my penguins and change the colors up a little bit. Once I'm done with the green color, I move on to the next. And again, you can use any colors that you like. Just make sure you are creating the lightest tint of that color. Very low, low pressure. Then all I need to do is color in all the things that the penguins are holding. And I will be done. I hope you had fun doing this project. See you next week. Bye.